Ursetown, we want to reintroduce you to SOAR. The nonprofit offers support and resources to families who have loved ones living with special needs. Starting the week of July 10th, SOAR is hosting a summer camp and lease summit, but they need more volunteers to make it happen. We've got one requirement for you to be able to serve with us. Can you be a friend? If you can be a friend, you can do it. You don't need any experience. We can teach you that. Come be a friend, and I promise you, you will be blessed beyond measure. This Father's Day reporter Leslie Delasport talked with the founder of SOAR as well as another involved dad. They explain what it's like to be the parents of kids living with special needs and the importance of organizations like this one. How about when you do this? Can you show how you do that? This is 17 year old Bojadar Green, or Boji, who loves to dance. I always like dancing. Okay, <laughs> that was that was loud. That's good. But he also likes to spend time with his dad, Brent, who is always by his side. Bojadar means gift from God. He's adopted from Bulgaria. He joined us in 2012. To be father of Boji, it helps stretch me and, and grow me. It helps grow my faith in God. I learn a lot about people and about God from Boji. Brent says Boji lives with autism, ADHD, anxiety, and learning disorder, but those things don't define his son, and he's grown thanks to a group called SOAR Special Needs. It's given us a place to connect with other people going through some of the same issues that we go through. Including his good friend, founder and executive director, Stephen Doc Hunsley, who was also the father of a child with Gervais syndrome, Mark, who died 12 years ago at the age of five. His official cause of death was SUDEP, sudden unexplained death of epilepsy. And he passed away in his sleep. He, he took a nap in the afternoon after coming home from his autistic kindergarten class, and he never woke up. But 10 months later, he decided to help parents like Brent and others by giving them resources and support they need to help them soar. I'm going to spend every waking breath I have to help transform the lives of other families and help them realize how blessed they are. Being a father of a child with special needs, disabilities, I think has made me more of a man. These two men say it's a pleasure holding the title of dad, but even better to be the father of a child with special needs. Together we learn what it means to love and serve kids with needs, individual with needs. Mark is always with me. He's always in my heart. Um, and what that little boy taught me and opened my heart to individuals with special needs and disabilities, I can never repay him for. In Kansas City, Leslie Delisport, KSHB 41 News. If you want to learn more about how you can become a volunteer, find this story on our website, KSHB.com.